guys, and welcome back to Talk to Lydia, where everything is about inspiring others. If you see me for the first time on your screen, you're welcome. I'm Lydia, and I create content related to safety, love, relationship, and career. If you are yet to sub support my uh, my channel, please, what are you waiting for? Don't you love to see this beautiful face? Don't you love to see this beautiful face on your screen again? Please kindly of hit the subscribe button to support my channel. Subscription is absolutely free free and free to my returning subscribers i love you all thank you so much for your support i really really appreciate you now without further ado without wasting much of our time let's dive right into the topic or the gist for today so today i'll be talking about the 10 types of women you should not marry yes the 10 types of women you should not marry hmm. You know one thing about men is that most men are always relaxed when it comes to should I go the, should I say relax or most of them feel oh even me I used to have that perception before or I used to have that kind of mentality before until I came in contact with one of my neighbors I lived that I lived with while I was single that was when my perspective about this marriage thing changed I usually think men are always in fact, men, men are women are always at the receiving end when it comes to marriage. When when there are marital crises in a marriage, or when there's marital crisis in in a marriage, women are always at the receiving end. And men, it's not just to pick up your your shirt and leave the house and all that. Men are not always affected. That's that has always been my thought. But that's a big part of life. Yes, and this is because men have emotions too. They are humans. They have blood flowing through their veins. So anything that happens in marriage can either affect the man or the woman. So women are not always at the receiving end. The reason why most people think women are always at the receiving end is because we are very emotional. That's how God created us, right? And it's even very easy for us to 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 blackmail our partner with our emotions, and that will make it we will make it seem to other people out there um, as if the man is the problem or the man is the one that has issues. And men are not allowed to 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 talk about their feelings, to talk about their emotions. So most people usually have this perception. So if you're a man and you think, oh, I can just settle for just anybody, I can just marry any woman, I can just go into marriage for the wrong reason, oh, for a car, for a beauty, and everything, and then you neglect every other aspect. I pray you will not be. <laughs> I pray you will not regret it at the end of the day. So, guys, let's quickly jump right into the point I have for you today. Number one type of woman you should never marry. The spendthrift. Yes, you have me right. The spendthrift. A woman that spends lavishly. A woman that spends extravagantly. A woman that does not care. When it, when it comes to spending, she's, she's just not careful. Rather, she's careless with spending. She's not accountable. She spends anyhow. Trust me, you don't want to end up with this kind of of woman and unless she's willing to change unless she's willing to turn a new leaf you should not marry this kind of woman a woman that feels money is meant to be spent yes that is what money is for you earn it you spend it on anything they don't see it. they don't care where you get the money from they don't care if you're working your house house to bring that money once they need something they want you to provide for their needs and they want you they just want to spend they want to buy every designer bag designer shoes they want to buy the latest air in town and then they don't even care where that money is coming from and trust me this kind of woman will never spend their own money in that manner yes i'm a woman i, I can tell you that most women have this mentality that now man money you go spend them some women are like that so you do not want to get entangled or you do not want to go into marriage with this kind of woman if you have this kind of woman in your life and if you truly truly love this kind of woman you, if, if as such is willing to change please do not end up with this kind of woman that's number one do not marry this country point number two you do not want to end up with a woman that is disrespectful yes there's a saying that someone is arguing with me in the background <laughs> That says the greatest need of a man is not sex but respect. But this guy is telling me it's the other way around. But I'm telling you right now, by the time I start disrespecting you, you know that respect is very, very important to a man. Men do not love when their ego is being trampled upon. 
Men loves to be honored, even no matter, even when you're earning more than that man, even when you're 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 successful more than him, he loves when he's is being seen as the man and not just a figurehead. So trust me, as a man, you do not want to marry. It it should not be an aspect of your relationship that you you would ignore. That no, she disrespect me. I'm cool with. She's she's fine in every other way, but she disrespect me. I think I can cope with that. Okay, I cannot cope with that. Mm. Yes, you heard me right. You cannot cope with a woman that disrespects you. So trust me, you do not want to end up with a woman that disrespects you. A woman that that sees you as nothing, a woman that 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 does not regard you, you do not want to end up with that kind of woman. So that's point number two. Do not marry a woman that is disrespectful. You need plenty of respect to stay married. Trust me, in marriage, you may think it's nothing in the relationship, but trust me, when you eventually get married, respect will be, it will, you will be, you, you do not want to be demanding for respect from your partner. You do not want to constantly be telling her, you want to respect me at the end of this family. You don't, you don't want that. You don't want a woman that will be dragging that position with you. And I hope you can hear me. I hope you can hear me. I will cut that part. Sex is not the greatest thing of a man or well, somebody. I hope you can hear. It is respect. It is respect. So don't say no, she's a good girl, she's beautiful, she's intelligent, she's smart, she's outworking, and then she disrespects you and you feel oh it's something that I can cope with in marriage. You can't cope with it. You cannot. You you cannot. So it's better you talk about it or you I hope you understand. Now, point number three. You do not want to end up with a woman that lives above her means. Hmm. They live above their means. This is a woman that just wants to do everything for the brand. Oh, they can go anywhere to take a picture just to post. They can, they can, they can, they can find their way to, to an airport just to snap beside a plane so that people will think they are, <laughs> so that people will think they have traveled out. They live above their means. They can go to any estate to acquire stuff. They don't mind purchasing that thing or getting it on credit. This is the kind of woman that will get air on credit. She will get, in fact, when you rent her dressing from her hair, from the crown of her hair to the sole of her feet, everything she is putting on is either on loan. She, she took them on loan or she borrowed them. You don't want to end up with this kind of woman, trust me. You don't want to end up with this kind of woman, a woman that lives above her means. She wants to, she she, she she lies, she lives on the mainland, she lives on the mainland. Maybe she lives in Mushi and then she'll be, she'll be forming for now. she will tell people that she lives on the highland, she lives in Lekki. And this, you do not want to live, sorry, you do not want to live with a woman that is not real, that is not true to herself. She does not, she, a woman that cannot admit the fact she cannot admit her current status. She just wants to chill with the big boys. She wants to chill with the big girls, regardless of her financial status. Trust me, you have a big problem. If you eventually get married to that person, a very big problem. Somebody that lives above her, this woman will make, she will make you borrow money in marriage to fund that extravagant, extravagant lifestyle. Yes, trust me. So this kind of person, they be, when she starts giving you the eat in marriage, you will get tired. You do not want to marry that kind of woman. You do not want to marry a woman that is not real. A woman that lives above her means. She spends above her means. She's earning like a 50,000 or a 100,000. And she's living like someone that earns millions. She spends like someone that earns in millions. Seriously, you do not want to end up with this kind of woman all right now point number four do not marry a lazy woman yes you heard me right do not marry a lazy woman if you know me very well you know i like i love to advocate for women a lot but i do not i would not deny the fact that some of some women are lazy these are this, this kind of woman they don't have time they don't just want to do anything meaningful with their lives and trust me if you are a kind of man that you want to have a partner that you, both of you can build together, you can build your life together, you don't want to end up with this kind of person. Because every single thing you do with our laziness, before you know it, our laziness will start to rub off on you. Maybe let's do this. She, you, all the idea you bring is you just keep telling you, let's not do it. It's not important. Let's do it tomorrow. 
or a woman that does not want to do anything meaningful with her life you don't want to end up with a lazy woman laziness is in so many ways but let me just restrict it to this particular aspect and move on to the next point because of our time point number five Number five, a woman that never wants to build with you. It's a signal, it's a sign, it's a big red flag. And if you're seeing it right now in your relationship and you still feel, oh, love covers a multitude of sins and you feel you can overlook it, it's going to be a problem in future. Marry a woman that wants to build with you. Not a woman that does. She doesn't care what you do. She doesn't care how you make the money. When you make the money, she will give you so many, she will give you so many ways that so many things you spend that money on so many things that will make that money go out she never thinks of how to multiply that little you have with you trust me you don't want to marry a woman that never builds with you a woman that scattered everything you're trying to build the bible says a wise woman built a home building a home is in so many aspects building a man building the the, the a children helping a man to grow helping herself to grow so when you meet a woman that care less about your growth that thinks of how to lavish your money in different ways then she you shouldn't end up with that kind of woman do not marry a woman that never wants to build with you and when you how do you know a woman that is not into you a woman that never wants to build with you i can remember there's this guy I'm going to say this and I'm going to be through real with you. This is just for you as a guy to know that woman that is not interested in your growth. Okay? There's this guy that has been trying to ask me out for years. Like for more than four years, it was on my case. And there was a time that okay, we, we it got to a point we became friends. But of course, I I, I defined our friendship. We had boundaries. Okay, he usually comes to my school then to visit me. And then there was a day, because I am not interested in him, I am not interested in whatever you do, I am not interested in your life. I told him, I have a, I have a fiance, I have, no, it wasn't my fiance, it was my boyfriend. I have a boyfriend, and I, I, we, we are in a serious relationship, so I don't care about you. And this is a way for you to know someone that is not interested in your growth, someone that is not ready to deal with you. And the guy got so upset one day, he just called me. Like, you don't even ask, how is my business, how my business is going. You don't ask how, you don't ask about this. You don't care about my job. You don't care. And in my mind, I'm like, because I am not into you. I am not into you. All these things you're angry that I don't ask you. Trust me, I don't ask my man because I love him, because I want to build with him. But because, although I didn't say that to him, but because to me, there's no, not saying that I, there's, I, I don't want to have anything with you or this relationship can not be more than the friendship we have so i don't care about if you like grow if you like don't grow it's not my business so that's a way to know a woman that is not into you they don't they will never want to build with you all right even if you're showing them all the love because i thought it's really like this guy showed me all the love but i wasn't just into him so one of the ways to know a woman that is not into you is this i just spoke about she never wants to build with you build with you she don't she does not care about your job about your business, about anything that has to do with you. All right, so let's move to the next point. Yeah. Okay, point number six. The weather is really, really changing. I hope I can finish this point. Okay, point number six. You do not want to end up with a woman that is never satisfied. Mm -hmm. Do not marry a woman that is never satisfied. No matter what you do for her, she is never satisfied. She feels you, you can do better. You should do more. You buy, you, you buy her a gift and she feels she's just never satisfied. There's nothing you will do for her that she would appreciate. There's nothing you will do for her that will not that she would she would she would that she won't say, and that would have been better. Ah, you bought me this, and that 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 thing would have been better. Seriously, a woman that is never satisfied. When you get married to that kind of person, you you will do everything for them. You will almost want to kill yourself for them, and they will still never be satisfied. So trust me, you want to marry someone that appreciates your little effort. You want to marry someone that celebrates your little effort, uh, effort of putting a smile on their faces. You do not want to end up with someone that never appreciates you. So let's move on to point number seven. You do not want to marry a woman that compares you. Mm -hmm. How do you feel when they even compare you to someone? To me, I don't. I, I hate it. I detest it for passion. So trust me, you don't want to marry a woman that compares you. A woman you'll be in the house with. 
maybe you eventually get married to that kind of person and then she's comparing you comparing you with our neighbor with your neighbor or with your friends don't you see your friends out there how many heads do they have do they have two heads look at what they are doing for their women you this is this, this is what you did and you are happy you are, if, if they call a man you, you 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 raise up your hand you say you are not a man see men dear look at men that men the other ones you you are not we are just a figurehead you don't want to marry a woman she may not literally say this house but you don't want to get married to someone who makes you feel less of a man a woman who compares you with other women this woman will make you run <laughs> this woman will make you run kitty kitty because you especially when um, unconsciously you want to please her unconsciously you want to do so many despicable things just to measure up and be like that kind of man she wants so please you do not even i would say it i always say that most of these yahoo boys most of them are being pressurized by women because they want to satisfy them they want to be seen as a man that is why most of them do so many things they do so trust me you don't want to marry a woman that will make you end up doing what you will regret for the rest of your life do not marry a woman that compares you all right now let's move to the next point point number eight you don't want to marry a woman that is prone to violence like i said my perspective perspective about marriage changed when i met when i met this neighbor of mine and ever since then like i like i said earlier i usually pray that i usually when i pray about marriage for my, i usually focus on my sisters god do not let us miss out in marriage because if i i be proud to that time i have never prayed for my brothers about marriage because i felt men are always every everything goes for the men they are not always affected when there is marital when there are marital crises like that women are always at receiving end so i thought until i met this set of couples and ever since then i stay praying for my brothers i'm like god if there's a woman like this if a woman can be this violent violent if a woman can be this evil then men too are are are, are not are not left out in this marriage problem saga therefore i usually commit my brothers onto the evil ends of god god do not make them meet this kind of woman do not make them meet a jezebel as a wife do not make them get married to a jezebel so point number eight you do not want to marry a woman that is prone to violence a woman that would push you a woman that would slap you a woman that would grab your shirt a woman that would that can that can embarrass you in public and be and she, i don't care a woman that when you when, when they ask something from from you and then you, you give an excuse you are in fact you almost want to run out of the house you are still dating you know? she's chasing you out of the house she has slapped you before <gasps> oh God. run for your jail life you don't want to marry a woman that is prone to violence point number nine a an entitled woman hmm. she feels entitled to your life she feels she owns everything you have and this kind of woman she, she also thinks that her money is her money but your money <laughs> she feels our money is our money your money is our money she feels entitled to everything you have i'm not saying your wife should not feel entitled no but when did she have that sense of entitlement and i i you have the right i met a woman before that broke up with her boyfriend not even her husband because she said he doesn't give her money to make her hair like how can you collect your salary and you, you cannot give me a certain percentage of your salary <gasps> is she your daddy is he your daddy it's so funny if i'm not saying you shouldn't help yourself it should it should not be it should not be just one way it should not be one-sided it should be both all right it is partnership nobody should should milk the other person dry nobody should suck the other person if you're giving it should be like give and take you don't feel entitled to another person's money someone that is not your family that is not your husband yet and then you're feeling entitled to his to his earnings you're you're demanding she was even demanding for a certain percentage if you really love me when you get your salary at least i should get like a 30 percent or a 40 percent excuse me she's already demanding for 30 percent in the relationship when you get married she will collect the whole hundred percent so i'm not saying a man should not spend for his woman and i am not saying a woman should not spend for his for a man but i'm saying 
you do not want to end up with someone that feels entitled to every single thing you have yes now the last thing i have here the insecure woman trust me you don't want to marry someone that is insecure oh <laughs> it's very hard if you make any move you are cheating if you cough hmm someone that has trust issues you don't want they'll make your life miserable in marriage once you drop your phone on the bed mistakenly like this, to, to, to carry it when you're pressing your phone she's looking she wants to know the password she wants to you, you see you don't want to marry somebody that will be giving you a dick that will be, even when you know that you're plain even when you know that she's the only one in your life she does not trust you you have done everything within your capacity to make her trust you but she she's just so insecure she's just so not trusting you don't want to end up even if you love this kind of person all these issues are mentioned if you even if you notice it in any of your part or in your partners so even if you notice any of those points i mentioned in in your partner it is something maybe on block reflection so even if you notice all this in your partner or some of these they are very very important issues that should not be swept under the carpet if it is something that you can talk about you can communicate and if the person is willing and is ready to take a new leave or to turn a new leave or it's fine but if the person says nothing wrong with it or she feels oh it's okay for me to 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 to, to be the way i am it's okay for me to be a stem drift it's okay for me to live above my means it's okay for me to be disrespectful there's nothing wrong with that if she says nothing wrong in all this other stick to your ears Jaffa. <laughs> Okay, this will bring us to the end of this video and I hope you are inspired. I hope you learned one or two things from this video. Kindly let me know your thoughts and comments down below in the comment section. And then if you are yet to subscribe to my channel, Makawai, what did I do to it? Hit the subscribe button to be a member of this beautiful family. Thank you so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!